Oh, there we are, guys. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Lancashire hot pot served up with a bit of pickled red cabbage. Hi, guys. How you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today, we're going to make a fantastic hot pot. Lancashire hot pot. Now, this hot pot is basically a stew made with lamb, onions, potatoes, a few carrots, a bit of thyme. Let's show you how to do it. Guys, I'm using lamb shoulder. I've got just over a kilo here, and it is just over a kilo of lamb shoulder. You know, a little bit fatty, but I have trimmed some of the fat out and I've cubed it up. So we're ready to go. All we have to do now is prep some veg. And veg is very easy, guys. Potatoes, onion, and carrot. It doesn't get much simpler. Let's show you how to do it. Right, the veg for this hot pot is very simple, actually, guys. What we need to do, we need to slice some potatoes uh, and they're going to be layered inside our hot pot. So, oh, it's nice and easy. Just slice up your potatoes. Now, we don't want them too thick. You get to the end. So there's our sliced potatoes. Now, we're going to do this with all our potatoes and we're going to put them in a tub. Now, you know, it's, you don't have to be absolutely critical on how thick they are, you know, but we want them a reasonable thickness because these things have got to cook more or less the same time. Now, we're going to have some inside, some on the top. So do all your potatoes the same. Now, if they're too big to manage, just cut the potato in half, you know? And you've still got sliced potatoes to go on your stew, your hot pot. Potatoes sliced. How easy is that? Right, now what we got to do, I'm going to take some carrot, which I've already peeled. Now the carrot doesn't want to be as thin as the potato, so we want to come a little bit thicker. Now you can cut your carrot like that into a reasonable size pieces and then if we've got a big piece like that we can cut it in half and come through on there okay it's really easy now I prefer to put my carrots in like this but you know there's another way let's show you you could put chunks of carrots in like that it doesn't matter you know, by the time it's cooked, guys, and cooked in the oven, they're going to cook down and be soft anyway. So that's our carrots in there. So we've got potatoes and we've got carrots. All we need to do now is finely slice some onion. And again, you can cut the onion whichever way you want. You know, if you want bigger chunks of onion, put bigger chunks of onion in. That's our onion. Onions, carrots, potatoes, lamb. Let's crack on and show you how to make this. We need to have going with a little bit of oil and we want to put some butter in. A good dump of butter in there, you know. We're going to flavour this. And what we're going to do, turn on the flame. Now, we want to be browning this lamb so we don't really want to overcrowd the pan. So get some in. That'll do. 
So we're going to cook it in stages, you know. I'm going to add a pinch of pepper, which will be in there when we cook all the lamb. And a little bit of salt. Now, we're not trying to actually blacken this lamb in any way. We can put a little bit of colour on there, see a little bit of colour on there. That will be absolutely fantastic. And then all we'll do is take it out and put it to one side. But you know, if we'd have dumped all the lamb in there at one go, it would be a hell of a job to try and put a little bit of colour on the lamb. You know, we've a kilo of lamb there. And then all we're going to do, we're going to take it out. Get your lamb out of there and we're going to sear all the lamb. In with some more. Don't forget you're in complete control guys. Put as much colour on as you want. If you want to get a really brown crust on there, crust it up. That doesn't matter, you know, but don't forget this is going to actually cook in the hot pot stew for about one and a half hours. So this meat is going to be really, really falling apart tender. It's going to be delicious. So up to you whether you want to brown up the outside really strongly. Nice bit of colour on there, look. Let's get that out. Right, what we need to do now, using the same pan, using the same remnants that's left in the bottom, in with a bit more butter. Get your butter in there. Flame back on. In with all your onions. All the onions in there. We want to soften them all up in that butter. Now, this is certainly not a slimming meal. By any means. Right guys, I'm going in with my thyme. My thyme's going in with the onions. I have a reason for it, you know. My reason is the onions, when they're cooking in that butter and they're going translucent, they're going to soak up all that thyme flavour into the onions. A bit like a sponge actually, you know. And the thyme, that's going to rehydrate, you know, with the juice of the onions and the butter. Okay, so what we're going to do, pinch of pepper, a tiny amount of salt, not too much. Don't forget, we've already seasoned the meat and our stock that goes in will be carrying of salt. So just be careful on the salt content. So we want to cook these for about five or six minutes and then we want to put our carrots in. Okay, in with our carrots. And just cook it down a little bit in there. I'm going to add a little bit more butter just to help it on its way. That's going in there. Okay, that's cooking away nicely. We want to go in with a good couple of tablespoons of flour. Get that in there, start to cook it in. And then what we want to do is introduce our stock. A 
a good splash of Worcester sauce, a couple of tablespoons. That's in there. Little stir around. Starting to thicken already, look. And then we want to reintroduce our meat. Get the meat in there and all the meat juices. Everything that was in that pan as it was settling. Get everything in there. Give it a stir in. Oh, just look at that. It smells amazing. You know, you can smell the Worcester sauce in there. A little bit of thyme. The onions. A little bit of lamb. Oh, that smells incredible now that looks amazing you give that a little taste test for seasoning actually now that is salty enough I'm just going to go in with a little bit more pepper Now let's just give that a taste test. I'm going to give that another taste test. That is delicious. That really is good. Okay, off with the flame. What we need to do now, we need to build the layers of our Lancashire hot pot. Okay, a little bit more butter in the bottom of there. I did tell you it wasn't a slimming uh, meal. Just rub that around the bottom like that. Okay, and then we want to go in with a layer of potatoes. So we want to get your potatoes in there. Now what we don't want to do is stack them on top of each other in like a stack of casino chips. You know, we need to layer them out in there. Now they don't have to be so, so pre precise. I nearly couldn't say that. So like I say, it doesn't really matter how precise you are. Just get the potatoes in there as a layer. It's a, it's a bit like layering up a lasagna actually. But we're doing it with potatoes and our meat ingredient. So I suppose it's a Lancashire lasagna. That's enough in there. And then what we need to do, we need to ladle some of our meat mixture in there. I think we've done Lancashire proud here. So we've got about half in there, roughly, that'll do, and then what we need to do, another, another layer of potatoes, fantastic, so get your potatoes in there, okay, and then what we want is another layer of meat. Get that next layer on top of there. Oh. Just work it round a little bit. Try and get it in there. Try and make it a little bit even. It doesn't matter if it's really not even. You know, when you serve it up, you're going to get a spoonful and there's a lot of meat underneath here. Oh. Just look at that. Right guys, last one. There we go, that's good enough for me today. A little bit of butter on the top. You know, some people 
brush it all with butter that is absolutely fine well just a little bit of butter on there and just a little sprinkling of black pepper a little sprinkling of dry thyme over the top not too much you know this will actually soak into the buttered potato as it cooks in the oven so that is our Lancashire hot pot prepped and ready guys all we need to do now is shove it in the oven now if you add a lid you will actually put a lid on this we don't have a lid so we're going to cover it in tin foil then it's going in the oven 170 degrees for one hour now don't forget that this lamb is already more than halfway cooked it's only for the potatoes to cook down and everything in there in its layers that's all after one hour we'll take the tin foil off put it back in the oven to crisp up the potatoes on top of our Lancashire hot pot so let's put some tin foil on here okay on with the foil in the oven for one hour oh that will more than do for me there we go Lancashire hot pot done oh there we are guys look at that that is absolutely incredible Lancashire hot pot served up with a bit of pickled red cabbage oh and now for the taste test oh man really super tender juicy lamb that is unbelievable a nice gravy mm. nice cooked potatoes inside some crispy potatoes on the top mm. and some red cabbage mm. man Lancashire hot pot made now if you like what we're doing guys don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video